warning. This is a warning and an informational bulletin for all those that tow with an extended tow bar similar to this behind their RV that has a hydro lift or any other type of lift that makes you have to have an extended tow bar or a situation where you have an extended tow bar. Uh, we just want to pass along some information that we found out that we found uh, since towing with an extended tow bar for the last five years. So stay tuned and we'll get into it and explain it all to you. It's our blessed adventure. It's our blessed adventure. The information we wanted to share with you was um, we've had several failures with our extended tow bar over the last couple years. Our first uh, tow, tow bar uh, failure kind of was that we noticed some bending in our extended tow bar uh, where it was starting to bend down toward the ground. So we'll, we'll show you that, uh, what we did. And then also our second failure uh, was we had uh, our actual hitch which started to crack where the hitch tube started to crack and uh, was almost to where it was about to break apart and we would have lost the vehicle there uh, and now on our third failure is the actual tow bar itself again has developed a crack and uh, we was able to see that before it was turned into a situation where it could have got catastrophic so we'll just talk about it and we'll show you the different parts so we're showing you here this is our extended tow bar um, that came with our uh, hydro lift from the factory you have this the bar is extended down and this is where your uh, original bar would have stopped right here but because our lift is so wide and we carry a trike you can see that it's wide and so in order to get past the width of this uh, platform you had to put in a 18 inch extension so there is the 18 inch extension and because we use a lifted jeep or we tow a lifted jeep uh, behind it we also had to put a riser. So when we originally got this, this was a, a one piece, this would have been piece two, and this would have been the original tow bar piece three. Uh, all those were separate pieces. Um, and we used to experience uh, some wiggle in between those parts. And then on our first failure, this section here had begun to droop and our tow bar was was at an angle it was where that had started to droop down so to get it fixed we went to a welding shop they uh, straightened the bar out and then they put in these supports here and here uh, this is the original support that was on the on the tow bar so they put this in and this in on both sides straightened the tow bar up made it uh, level again and added some some support that fixed that problem of uh, the droop well in the process we decided okay let's get these all welded together and make them one piece which may be uh, a detriment to us but just want to point it out uh, so that if if anyone has done the same you know so we made the bar rigid so the full length, so that full length of that bar was rigid. And on the, our second failure, it was our tow bar here. If you can see, you can see some welding right there. And let me move it down here, sorry. You can see that on this section here, on the original tow bar, it cracked. And it literally was cracked across the side, across the top, and down the other side. 
And the only thing that was holding it on was a small section, like in the middle under the bottom. So my wife is always looking and she noticed that the tow bar again was leaning toward the ground. And when I went back to inspect it, I found that there was cracked all those three places. So we was able to find a fabulous welder in Terre Haute, Indiana. And so he cleaned out the crack that was here all the way around. He, he filled it in and then he also made this uh, or added this second support and welded all the way in. And then that made that super strong, super sturdy, and towing from that point on, let me get back up here. Sorry, folks. Towing from that point on became very, very steady. We didn't get much wiggle anymore. This bar was pretty solid. Uh, we noticed that the vehicle tracked really well, and we thought, wow, all our problems were solved because it towed the best it would uh, tow. And when you think of it, here's the tow bar. So you're also adding that extra part of, of there into this top tube, which gives you a lot of length. So it makes for a long bar. So if anybody is using a long extended bar, you know that that's putting a lot of a stress on the bar so when we arrived here you know i like to try to look around make sure things are going on since we uh, have previous issues and what i noticed was this right here so that is a crack that is oh i better focus in that is a crack that is developed in this portion of the bar and this portion of art, which is original, is uh, it's pretty stout, but it's, it's hollow in the middle. And if you see where I've marked here, that's where the tow bar stops at the end of the receiver hitch, right down there. So that line is where it stops for everything to line up for the hole. So that's our last... Um, situation we were run into so we talked to uh, a welder here uh, that is local and our intentions hopefully is to remove all this take this bar completely out uh, put in a solid bar and then also put in something in here in this tube to come out to come up to about that point to kind of strengthen that bar up and then maybe also put some supports up here as well and maybe even like i said either putting a, a plate or something or extending it down or somehow just to try to strengthen it up a little bit more so this is just a warning and an information bulletin to anyone out there towing behind a hydro lift or some type of other extended bar and uh, they make these hydro lifts to carry trikes, which this is our configuration. If you flip the configuration around the other way, basically you can use it for a spider. Or they also make a flat platform that you can use to haul a golf cart or, and possibly a side-by-side. -side. So we'll get this taken care of and we'll shoot a video to show you what the results of it is. Hopefully that'll be something that'll help anyone that's run into any kind of problems and things to look for if you're using an extended tow bar. So we'll get back with you when we get this taken care of. All right, so we got our uh, tow bar back from the, the welder and hopefully this time we should not have any more problems in the future. They were able to cut all the old stuff off that was here before like we told you and what they did is they sourced us a two and a quarter inch solid piece of steel and then we had it milled down to be two inches they drilled a new hole welded it on and then they plated it 
a little farther forward all the way back to where close to where it goes in the receiver hitch so now we have a nice solid piece nice straight piece and it's beefed up pretty beefy my personal opinion this is how they should have done it from the very beginning and that would have uh, uh, alleviated a lot of extra problems that you know you find when you're using a, a tow bar or something like this so we uh, wanted to show you the finished product we're gonna put her in and hopefully after that we're towing down the road with no problems so just wanted to show you what we found out and what we got done after uh, we got it fixed Well, this is the reason we end up using extended tow bar from the very beginning is because we bring along our Honda Gold Wing. So I hope you enjoyed the information we shared in the video. We just wanted to issue a warning to all you that possibly may use an extended tow bar, just to let you know that uh, there's things to keep an eye on while you're traveling. So don't forget to share our videos with your families and friends and give us a thumbs up. And also we'd love to hear from you. So please leave a comment. And if you haven't subscribed, push that subscribe button, smash it. It doesn't cost you anything. And then that way you can be notified when we post our next video. And like we always say, thank you for joining those blessed adventures and have a blessed day.